Appreciate Commander's Head Coach Dan Quinn taking time for us. It's been a whirlwind since you got to Washington. Yeah. How do you feel like you've got this thing situated now as you maybe kind of shift your focus to the draft? Yeah, I think it's been about uh, 50 days or so, you know, since uh, I got the job. And so each of those days, just trying to, to move forward and, and keep trying to improve and get better on the team. Uh, first part was looking at the club, you know, where we thought, you know, we wanted to add some guys and that part through free agency went well. And now really the shift goes to the draft from the off the field. But what I'm actually most excited about is the players returning for the off season program next week. And so getting a chance to be around them and uh, develop that connection together, that lights me up in a big way. As I've asked people around the league, you're known for your, for your energy and your passion. How do you get that going in March, April and keep right. that going through December? I think more than anything, I guess the competition and uh, like that'll really be the central theme of what we're about. And it's players to players, coaches, 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 players, like that connection, that competition, that's really what it's about. And so that competition kind of like, can we do it better? Can we dig for it? Can we find an edge? And so that, doing that together with the players, like we're really excited about that. If you look at kind of the volume of signings in free agency, it was clear that you guys thought you needed an overhaul. How far in that process do you think you are in the, the recalibration? Yeah, I think like every team, it's it's that mesh, right, that takes place between the draft picks that you add, the current players that are there. And so now that all of these guys who are here are commanders, now we move forward, you know, in terms of the next you know, stage in this with the process of the offseason program and putting in some scheme and more than anything, like putting in our connection, you know, and the energy that it takes to do that. So we're excited to do that. Um, I know they're like new teammates, those relationships, that chemistry being together, that's a big piece of this. And so I'm excited they get some time together before we even add another crew in, you know, with the rookies, you know, after the draft. It's been well televised. You guys have been on the road at Pro Days, yep. USC and Michigan, and then LSU, Carolina coming up. What are you looking for at these Pro Days? Just kind of all of the players, but particularly the quarterbacks. Yeah, and I think at every one, like, it's good to remind yourself, like, the work for the guys has already been done. That's the video. That's the tape, you know. And so in these interactions, I'd really like to get to know the man before the ball player. The ball player, that's everything on tape, and that's what we've seen. So. Honestly, the interactions there with them, with their teammates, it's in a different environment. You can imagine at a combine, everybody's tight. You get these little 15 minute windows. Everybody's nervous to what to say. And so it's in a more relaxed setting. Um, you probably get a better sense of who they are and around their teammates. So that's what I'm looking for into that spot. The workouts help, but as important as anything, is this the right person to work with and would we jive together? And over the course of your time in the NFL, how, how has the quarterback position evolved or, or changed? And, and how do you have to react for yeah. that looking ahead? I think it's one of the cool parts about our game, you know, like from when I came into the league, you know, over 20 years ago to, you know, what it is today. It's a lot different. There's a lot more space. Uh, there's a lot more shotgun. There's things that are different and it'll be different in another, you know, 20 years when we have this discussion. But what's cool is like it's always changing and evolving. And so the quarterback position has changed. There's more moving. There's more scrambling. There's more mobile quarterbacks. And I think that's you've seen that in high school. You see it in college. You see it in our games more. So having ability to, to move in and out of the pocket, that's a big deal. And uh, the best of the best keep evolving. And uh, that's what's fun about it. As a defensive coach, how much harder is it when that quarterback can move well, especially? Yep. I think what we're probably talking about is the extended plays. Sure. You know, like this is the first play. It gets out of the pocket, now a second play begins. And so when a, a quarterback and an offense are really good at extending plays, now you have to defend four seconds, five seconds, and longer and longer. That's when it can get really challenging. So uh, you have to practice those you know, when you're on offense to make sure you can extend plays and everybody's on, in sync with that. But uh, yeah, it's a big piece of, uh, of a mobile quarterback being able to create an on-the-run throw, run, you know, be that option. There, there's going to be reports throughout this about who you guys like at number two. Um, do you even have a draft board put together yet? Could no, that's so funny that uh, like? people say there's no, no state secrets going on today, but I would say uh, it's been fun to be part of Adam's process. We're nowhere near done. So for anybody who thinks they have, they are absolutely missing it because <laughs> we're not. So uh, we got a lot of work to do, but it's been fun going through that process together and uh, knowing that when we get there, not just at quarterback, but at all the spots, like we've got a number of good picks. So I'm as lit up about two as I am about the two picks in the second round sure. into the third round and on and on knowing that a lot of these guys will be you know have impact plays for us for years to come. Recalibration generally takes a little bit of time and then you juxtapose that with what Houston did last year turning it all right around right away. 
How do you go into a season like this and before you even have your full roster and, and try to determine expectations? I don't. Honestly, I just want to see like, how good we can get right away and uh, at all spots. And I think that's why the competition is really the central theme and what we're doing. We're going to try to find an edge in just about everything that we're doing. I think I've been on the job about 50 days. And so in those 50 days, I hope I've done something to try to push the program forward, whether it's on the field, off the field, uh, roster, relationship, scheme, any of that. And so you just keep stacking those things and all these small gains will add up. But uh, it's as important to get this team connected as we can. Um, just two more quick ones. I know you're busy. Uh, do you want to tell me which quarterback you like? Uh, after you tell me which one you like. I like Jaden. All right. Well, I'm not going to tell you mine. Uh, <laughs> Fair no, enough. The, uh, honestly, we're still going through the whole process. Sure. And you know what's cool? This is a really good crew of guys, you know, that we're getting a chance to evaluate at quarterback and then some other spots as well. So um, we're fortunate that we're going to be in a spot um, at a number of rounds. There's going to be some really good players for us. Uh, but to say where we're at yet, we just that'd be inaccurate to, well, to give and, that. And to your earlier point, 36 and 40 for a recalibrating team are vital. Yeah. Uh, my last one, you went to Salisbury. Yep. About 20 minutes to Ocean City. That's right. How much fun in college was being 20 minutes from Ocean City? Yeah, it was a cool spot to go to school. And uh, it was good for summer jobs, too, and all that to go. Did you work at yeah, any of those beach yeah. bars Oh, or yeah, anything? absolutely. Where at? So did a lot of bouncing down at uh, different days, different spots. And so, um, like but Fagers? It was, oh, yeah, all that. They were there, and uh, Secrets was there even back then. But uh, it was an absolute blast, you know, going to college there and meeting a lot of lifelong friends. I would not. If you were the bouncer, I would have behaved. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. All right, Dan, thanks very much. Man. All right, you got Appreciate it. it.